Morning all. Slightly unusual game for you this morning. It's a game of David Bronstein and it was played when he was dreaming in his sleep. He repeatedly played this game in his dream and wrote it down after waking up. So in his dream uh, he was playing black. No, no hint of any particular opponent is white, just white played d4. Bronstein chose knight f6 and we saw the Nimzo engine defence being adopted. White now plays bishop g5. Okay, and Bronstein kicks the bishop immediately with h6. Archbishop h4. Now played queen e7. After knight f3 we see d6 which seemingly is potentially blunderous, blundering the bishop or dangerously offering uh, an obvious looking tactic queen a4 check to try and exploit that bishop on b4. But is it that simple? And if, you might think if knight c6 well there's d5 with pins all around the shop. Let's see white in his dream did play queen a4 check. So is he losing a piece somehow to d5? This is where get, things get very interesting. I think the only move here is uh, to avoid losing the pieces knight c6. And is black losing a piece now to d5? d5 is played. Okay, he can at least save the bishop with bishop c3, but that remains a problem with the knight being pinned. In fact, in this dream, David Bronstein plays e takes d5 before doing anything. And after c takes d5, very clever move now to counter threaten white's pieces, a particular piece in particular, is slightly vulnerable, believe it or not, here. The queen here is slightly loose. I wonder if you can spot the dream move in this position, which was played, which starts to cast some doubt on white's play to win a piece like this. So if I give you 10 seconds, what would you play here with black? <clears throat> okay, queen e4. Now it's not possible to take on c6 because bishop takes c3 check would win the queen. So what can white actually do about this? Maybe you might think rook c1, but then what about knight takes d5? All problems solved. So what white does is keep the frets up, keep the frets, keep the frets going with knight d2, but offering h4 now, h4 bishop. So white's hoping to exploit the consequences of d takes c6 still, and he's blocked the check with knight d2, doesn't seem such a bad move. Okay, so in this position, queen's really attacked. And okay, what other options are there for black apart from taking on, on h4? You might think bishop takes c3 is possible. Okay, that's something maybe to check in the second pass of this game. Queen takes h4 was played, d takes c6, and now black simply castled here, which seems to leave another dangerous pin now with this queen loose here. Why can't this pin be made use of with a3? Okay, a counter threat though. Knight g4 on f2 is made. G3. Now queen f6 again threatening f2. Is the bishop going to be taken? His opponent did take it in his dream. A takes b4, allowing queen takes f2 check. Now to king d1. A clever move here is played. 
to gain an important tempo. The move B5. Okay. Does White want to take this pawn? The other key thing to notice about this move is not just the tempo gain, it's the do of d1, because black wants to play knight e3 check, the king would go to c1, and after queen e1 check, it's very difficult to defend d1. Imagine if the queen wasn't defending d1 here, or the knight, then the next move would be queen takes d1 mate. So b5 is a powerful deflection move, Either either the flexion will do, either the knight or the queen, away from that sensitive d1 square. Uh, so, and we'll see that in detail in the second pass. So the queen must remain, and the knight must remain, controlling the d1 square in this position. Well, in the dream, actually queen b3 is played. Allowing another tempo gain at bishop e6. And white's king is now getting in trouble. The queen can't go here because of knight e3 check. Goes to a3. We see knight e3 check. And now, after king c1, queen e1 check is mating. What a lovely dream to have. <laughs> so, white trying to punish a loose bishop gone into trouble. Let's check this game from the start. <clears throat> so here is the move d6, so silly. Check and technically it's okay, knight c6. It seems because of these resources that black has that d5 isn't so dangerous. So black took Played the key move queen e4 and already black's better, apparently. So knight d2. Okay, let's examine, for example, bishop takes c3. That's not as good, is it? It seems queen takes e4 check. Then taking here, and it's about equal only, and all the fun's gone out of the position. So keep the queens on. After knight d2, queen takes h4, keeping the queens on. It's already apparent black's not going to lose too much material, it seems. Or is this other pin going to win that bishop again after a3? Well, no. In this position, um, maybe white's better to stop knight g4 with h3, it seems. So a3, we see knight g4. Let's examine the obvious here. If, um, if just taking... Is this a disaster? It's a mate in four. Check. Check. And we have that familiar pattern we saw in the game. A mate in four here construct. So that's to be avoided. So g3 necessary. Queen f6. And then we're on c3 as well here. So what can white do in this position? If, for example, Okay, let's say the f pawn moved. Strong move here, queen d4. Again, threatening to come into f2. And what about f takes g? There's now bishop takes c3 in this position, hitting the queen, protecting the queen. Very clever stuff. This would be a wreck for white structurally. So even f3 it doesn't doesn't do much. Queen d4, very strong move here. Okay, if white castle then bishop c3 again is good. So it seems difficult for white. Maybe the best move, knight d e4, attacking the queen, protecting f2. Let's say bishop takes. Well, that's the disaster, the queen takes f2. Going to hold on to f2. b takes. And this is better than the game for sure. Okay, but still, black's doing fine. He can win even a pawn here on c3. 
Right, so let's go back in the game. We saw A takes B4, leading to acute, mate in 4. Now here, hold on a sec. What's the idea then of B5? It's to do with D1 being protected. The Queen is tend to be want to deflect the Queen away from protecting D1 because uh, otherwise that mating construct isn't working here. If you play check immediately, then the Knight D1 is not mating. It's actually better for White. So this is a key move to try and drag the Queen away from protecting a deflection tactic, away from defending the key square. D1, so B5 is actually the clinical crushing move in this position. If Knight takes B5, mating free again on that, because now D1 is also still vulnerable, especially with the Knight away from D1. That's mating next move to Queen D1. So the Knight can't take, the Queen can't take, it doesn't leave too many choices. Queen c2, there's knight e3 check. So the queen, for the moment, uh, tries to keep hold of d1, with queen b3 holding that d1 square. But now bishop e6. And finally, white's really collapsing here. Can't control d1 and gets mated. A nice game for a dream game. <laughs> Sweet dreams, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.